So remember I talked about uh, relation, was a relationship between your input and our output. So we have a relationship, right? We have input and an output. Let's talk about the domain uh, because this gets a lot of students confused like, oh my God, domain, what? I always keep on forgetting it, right? So if you can just think of a relationship, all right? You have your input and your output. Pretty much to just make this very simple and easy on you, we're just going to say the domain is all of your x coordinates or your inputs. So let's say I wanted to write an ordered pair. Uh, okay. So let's say I write a relationship in ordered pair. The domain, okay, your domain is going to be the set of all of your x values. So the domain in this problem is going to be 3, negative 5, and 10. All right. So the domain is all it is is just your set of all your x values or your inputs of your relation. And it doesn't matter if I'm using mapping. So mapping, remember, we had our input and our output. All right. Let's say it was a, b, c went to one, two, three. It doesn't matter how it's related. You know that your domain is going to be all of your inputs. Same thing if I made a table. It's going to be all the x coordinates. If I made a graph, it's going to be all the x values of all, every single x coordinate that's on the graph. So your domain is going to be all the x values of a, um, of a relation. All right, so there you go. I uh, oh, actually, you know what? Let, let me just do one more. Let's say I have a relation, and let's say my relationship uh, looks like this. And it's a special type of relationship, but let's just go through it. Well, remember, domain is all the x values, right? Well, these arrows tell me I'm going to go on and on forever, right? So, what we could say the domain for this would be from infinity to infinity. Or we could also write all real numbers. But we'll get into a lot of that through my problems. Just remember that the domain is all of your input values or your x coordinates. All right, thanks.